Okay, so if you saw in the last video I made, uh, we, um, yeah, so we hooked, we got this uh, color portable TV and hooked the GameCube up to it and made it into a GameCube screen. And after I finished the last video, I was like, huh, you know, I bet I could get this to work with a Switch, too. You can see this antenna thing that we made here. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I have this uh, Radio Shack um, HDMI to RF converter. So yeah, I'm going to use this with the Switch. And uh, yeah, so I've got this um, 8K uh, HDMI cable coming out of the Switch. So I'm going to plug that into this adapter, which is right here actually. So yeah, plug that in and then I've got a monster um, coaxial cable coming out of it. And then I'm going to plug this basically into right here where this other thing is. So let me pause the video and set that up. All right, so there we go. I plugged in the monster cable there. So now all that's left is to plug in this um, uh, 8K HDMI cable. Okay, plug this in here. All right, there we have it. Switch screen on this little color TV. Uh, now I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a little washed out. Uh, let's see here, I wonder if I can fix this, perhaps with, oh, that's the vertical holding. Let's see if I turn up the contrast a little bit. Let's put that about right there. And then here we've got the color. Let's try turning up the color a little bit. Yeah. Not that far. Yeah, about right there. Okay. Yeah, I think that's probably okay. All right. So now... Let's see here, let me hook up my GameCube controller. Um, yeah, hold on one second. Okay, there we go. Hooked up my GameCube controller here. All right, and I also set up the camera so it's kind of, uh, yeah, directed at the screen. Okay, oh, no wonder. Oh, haha, that's why it was kind of washed out. It's because uh, um, the Switch was actually on sleep mode. <laughs> so yeah, now it actually looks a lot cleaner. So I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, I can actually, I probably should turn down this, uh, the color again. Let's see here. See, yep, so see, it's, you can see it's on 480p here. Actually, I don't think you can really see that very well on the camera. You can see it better in real life, but yeah, I'm going to turn down this color just a little bit again. So then we can have a more natural text color. Okay. Nice. Okay, now actually, let's see. I guess one more thing I'm going to do is, um, let's see, I want to see the screen size, yeah, so see, we're going to turn this all the way down as far as we can go, because there's overscan on this CRT. Okay, let's go into Smash Brothers, see what this looks like. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah, maybe I'll try to mess around with the focus thing too, but... Um, yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Let's see, let me pause the video and I'm gonna, well, let's see, I guess we can see this intro real quick. Yeah, the thing, yeah, it still takes a second to load, there we go. Not as slow as the Wii U version though. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool, look at that. Yeah, it looks very clean, I, yeah, I'm, uh, very impressed. Wow. Yeah, these, <laughs> even the little CRTs like this look really good. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think it even looks better in real life than it does in, on the camera. Um, but anyway, I'm going to pause the video and let's go into a match. Okay, here we go. Go into, uh, yeah, I can, I think the geometry might be off a little bit on this TV. But it's not bad. Um, let's see, let's go to King K. Rule. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Yeah, so it's with the CRT, supposedly we should have uh, less lag than with the digital TV. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? I, I don't know if it's going to find someone. Yeah, I forgot I have it on four player mode. Sometimes people don't join that. Um, Let me go ahead and put it in one player mode. Hold on. Okay, there we go. I've set it to. Uh, uh one-on-one -on -one match so yeah here we go 
This will be interesting. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you can tell it's it's kind of, I think it's stretched out on the bottom a little bit. That's okay. Maybe I'll go in and see if I can fix that sometime. I'm actually going to turn up the brightness just a tiny bit here. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I haven't played this game for a while, but it's fun. Take that. Yeah. Yeah, but you weren't expecting that. Oh. There we go. <laughs> oh. Come here. Oh, wow, I haven't seen that before. Okay, I have seen that though. B button trick. Classic B button trick. <laughs> Oh no, I want that. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's okay. I'll take it. Oh, whoa. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> wow. I haven't seen that trick before. He spiked me out with his B button, or his up B, but then he got himself out, so... Yeah, sacrificial B button trick? <laughs> cool. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, I think this uh, feels pretty responsive, though. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty happy with this little TV I got, so, yep. Yeah, maybe I'll, if you want to see more videos of me playing Smash Brothers on a old portable uh, color TV, uh, just let me know. But yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm actually really impressed with it. Yeah, and actually, um, just looking at it real quick, so this is a 4x3 screen, I'm pretty sure, but it actually doesn't really look that stretched out. I mean, I guess I'd have to compare it, but I wonder if this Radio Shack adapter actually does some sort of conversion to the aspect ratio. Yeah, maybe, th and maybe that's, yeah, so maybe where it's, it's like cutting off, um, like some of the outsides of the screen. I wonder if that's actually the Radio Shack adapter. Um, doing that so then it fits the right aspect ratio. Um, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, because it actually looks really good. So yeah. Anyway, see you in the next video. Bye.